local lobstermen are facing a very tough winter, and what's worse, the spring horizon may not be so green. Peter Whitfield reports. Many lobstermen on the South Shore and all of the Massachusetts coast are on the brink of bankruptcy. The latest storm resulted in a 50% loss of gear, lines, and traps, adding up to more than $8 million in damages. In Halloween storm, I lost everything. I, that was a bad storm. That was a bad, and then this storm here, too, also, uh, I lost about 200 traps. It wasn't quite as bad, but... The, Put us right out of business, except for the October no-name storm in 1991 caused havoc and heavy financial losses to local coastal residents, many losing their homes. A year later, hardly before property was restored, another nor'easter inflicted a double whammy on shocked coastal residents. A quick response by state officials who toured the storm's devastation promised aid through state and federal agencies. Most homeowners did receive relief. Appraising lobstermen's losses, however, is more difficult as their business assets are less visible. The traps and gear necessary for lobster harvest rest in 60 to 150 feet on the ocean floor. Unheard of, really, to have two storms right in a row like this uh, has caused some severe damage to many of the lobstermen's businesses here in Massachusetts and uh, it to some extent it has caused such severe damage that they are in serious financial trouble. Financial aid resulting from the no-name storm came to the lobstermen in the form of small business loans helping to replace all the lost gear. Now one year later the gear is again lost due to the December storm but the old debt remains in place. I don't know really if I want to take another loan because I'm still paying back the loan of 78. And so I've got now three SBA loans pending and the payments are due and uh, no way of getting the payments up. What I would like to see would be a forgiveness of the old loans. The lobstermen find themselves between a rock and a hard place. That is, needing to replace the gear before the spring season and wondering how to finance the traps at $50 each. Then the uh, unemployment assistance has just kicked in for those people, uh, those lobstermen who, who have lost their income because of the storm, that they uh, will be able to go and get uh, assistance through the disaster unemployment and that will keep them uh, above water and functioning. We have been successful in uh, getting the SBA regardless of a disaster declaration. Uh, we have been able to get the SBA to be uh, ready and willing to sit down with any of the lobstermen who now owe loans from last year and can't pay them because they got in trouble with the storm, that that, that office is open, that door is open, and the, the fishermen will just have to go to the SBA and sit down with them and work out their individual problem because the SBA have already said they will work with these affected fishermen and uh, work out something, and so that's where we are on that. These lobstermen somehow will weather this financial storm. They've managed many other storms and survived. This is a hardy breed. From Cohasset Harbor, this is Peter Whitfield, Newsbeat 53.